Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today is the big day. It's Windows 8.1 upgrade time. So if you want to uh, upgrade and I think you really should upgrade, here's how you get Windows 8.1. So start your Windows 8 machine and once you're there you will see your regular start screen. Click on the Windows Store and you should see the update Windows right there on the uh, store. Um, I believe this big update square is there for everyone that has not upgraded yet. So it's free for all Windows 8 users so go ahead and click on it and upgrade your Windows 8 machine that's what we'll do now. Let's click on it and see how it works. Here we go. After the download, you'll be asked to accept the Windows software license. You can keep working while the update is downloading. We'll let you know when it's time for the next step. So this is what you'll click download. It's a pretty big download, uh, over three gigabyte. So if your internet connection is not very fast, it can take a lot of time. I believe it can take a lot of time also today. We are October 17th. It's the first day that this Windows update is actually available. And so um, it's probably going to be um, slow to download on some computers because of the amount of people that are actually downloading it. So uh, that's the first thing that you need to uh, check for. And uh, as they say, while it's downloading, you can actually work on, on something else. So you can go to your uh, main screen, check your email, do whatever you want it to do, uh, go on the internet. Everything's okay. It's going to actually tell you when uh, something is uh, about to happen. So uh, don't worry. Now, what steps should you take before you upgrade Windows 8.1? That's really important. Your Windows 8.1 upgrade is a major upgrade. It's basically a brand new Windows 8 that's going to reinstall in your machine. Will you lose stuff? You shouldn't. So the first question that people are gonna ask, well, okay, if I upgrade, do I lose my stuff, my programs? Uh, Technically, no, because it's an upgrade. It's not a reinstall. It's not a refresh. So uh, there's no formatting involved. It's really like uh, a Mac upgrade. Um, this is the first time that Microsoft uses such a way of actually doing things. So basically, you will not lose anything in your computer. That said, you should by precaution before applying any type of upgrade like this one you really should actually um, save everything you have in a external hard drive your music your videos your documents everything should be backed up just in case something bad happens uh, being a big update, uh, it's not impossible that something can go wrong, and that's the key to the question. Even on you know Macs, when you upgrade your Mac to a new version, they always say, well, you should back up to an external hard drive before applying any um, upgrade or before upgrading any system. Um, and even if you don't upgrade, the, the the thing is, you should have a backup on something else than your computer uh, all the time. It's really important. Your hard drive can die. Uh, lots of stuff can happen. Uh, normally, you should have your stuff on at least two different spaces. Uh, your computer and external hard drive. Even better, three spots. One off-site. Uh, so it can be, uh, for example, computer, an external hard drive, and another external hard drive or USB key that you leave at a friend's house, for example, or online with services such as, if you don't have too much stuff, you can use free services, you know, like their SkyDrive or the Google, uh, Google Drive. 
uh, or you can subscribe to something a paid subscription uh, service of backup like uh, Carbonite for example so uh, backup everything before you upgrade uh, I think it's really important even if you see, probably won't lose anything because that's the thing normally the upgrade to Windows 8.1 is not going to be an upgrade that will make you lose your stuff. Um, your upgrade should hopefully go smoothly. If there are some problems with the upgrade, uh, of course we'll have videos explaining how to um, go around problems you might have if you had any upgrade problem. Uh, if you are upgrading, maybe you're watching the upgrade videos we're putting online now, and um, you decided to upgrade, if you have any problems in the upgrade process, uh, comment, let us know. If you have any, any error messages while you were upgrading, um, whatever happens, let us know because um, it's going to be interesting to see all of you out there upgrading to Windows 8.1 and all the different problems that you might have if there are any. Uh, we'll try to make videos to help you install and you'll be helping others at the same time that might encounter such error messages. So uh, go ahead, go to the Microsoft Store, click the uh, upgrade, the Windows uh, upgrade um, square, purple square as you see here. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, probably by searching it uh, if you just type update while you're in the store, um, I'm not sure you see here that it doesn't show up really uh, in the store itself. So um, I believe that this update will probably show up here as soon as it's available and um, as long as you have not upgraded your Windows machine, it's going to be available. Uh, I suspect that this window will be different uh, once you upgrade it the update windows will disappear from the Microsoft Store uh, 3.54 gigabytes I believe is the um, download so it's really a big big download uh, just you know take your time um, like I said if you have a really slow internet connection this can take a few hours to download uh, I have a um, 60 megabit per second internet connection, so you see here it's downloading at pretty fast pace actually. And so um, the speed of download can also um, be slowed down uh, if you are installing because one of the things that uh, will happen is that the Microsoft servers are going to be overloaded with all these downloads from uh, Windows 8. So this is the first step, how to uh, get it, uh, what you should do, actually back up everything. And um, we'll have the uh, other videos as soon as this download is done and um, we go to the next step. We're going to uh, put that video online for step number two. Once you've downloaded, how it installs and uh, all the comments, how long it will take for the install to go on. And uh, look for a full review of Windows 8.1 where I think about it if you aren't sure you want to upgrade now uh, maybe you want to wait for the review of the official Windows 8 and see what we think and uh, we'll compare because I did a few performance tests uh, boot to the lock screen the time it takes uh, on Windows 8 and I'll retime it on Windows 8.1 uh, start to desktop the uh, Internet Explorer speed and of course we will uh, compare Internet Explorer 10 and Internet Explorer 11 and see how different it is, how uh, is it faster or not. We'll also have a full review of Internet Explorer 11 which is coming in with Windows 8.1. If you enjoy our videos please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos online and um, if you have any comments, questions, maybe you have update problems, like I said, uh, maybe everything went smoothly and uh, you're happy, let us know, comment. We want to have your comments on this. And um, hope that uh, everything goes well for you and this upgrade process of Windows 8 that is finally here and that you uh, will want 
to continue and watch our uh, videos. We'll have lots and lots of videos on how to use Windows 8.1. If there are new ways of actually uh, doing things, maybe some of the, the videos that we made for Windows 8 have uh, been modified in Windows 8.1, then we will check if there is uh, maybe a new video to make to replace the old one so that we uh, have both Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 videos of how to do whatever you might want to do and learn how to use Windows 8. So uh, it's Windows 8.1 upgrade time. Thanks for watching and look at the other videos of the upgrade. You'll have uh, an idea of how to upgrade from um, clicking the download button that we just did now on the Microsoft Store and uh, going through the process of the upgrade. Thanks for watching and see you next time on the official Windows 8.